Hello, my name is Amol Nergutkar, I'm the CEO of Patient Prism, here live at Daikama's uh, ninth annual DSO conference. Uh, I'm here with Patrick Jacobwith with Sunset Technologies, and they are uh, an incredible organization that provides IT technical support, managed service support, as well as cybersecurity services uh, to dental clients and DSOs uh, nationwide, all 50 states, including their latest client in Hawaii. So Patrick, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Glad to be here. Uh, tell us a little bit about how Sunset got started in the in the business and how'd you get in dental? Uh, thank you for that question. Um, my business partner's name is Brad Kerr. Brad Kerr, like many dental IT providers, started this company out of his garage about 15 plus years ago. He and his wife would sell the dental offices, go out and do the installs together. They had kids, so they had more employees they brought them with as well. It was a pretty great start. And from there, Brad built a company and brought me in about seven, eight years ago. Said he wanted to grow and go national. I was a corporate America in healthcare for now 30 years, and I became the CEO and general counsel of Sunset Technologies at that time, and we've grown from 18 employees when he brought me in to just about 95 that's, and we're a national company. That's incredible. Um, what problems do you really solve for dental offices? The biggest problem that we try to solve for the dental practice is to allow them to focus on their patients. Sunset Technologies purpose, our vision, what we're about is we want you to feel rest assured. We've got your back. Don't worry about this IT stuff. Don't worry about this cybersecurity stuff. Focus on your patients. That's what you're trained for. That's what you do best. Let us take care of it. And we do that every day for a lot of practices. It, it's incredible, right? Sometimes we don't measure the cost of losing time, right? Um, the cost of inefficiency. Um, we've all been there where we're trying to figure something out and it doesn't work, um, uh, whether it's, you know, wh wh whatever it is, because if our, if our IT is not working, if our computer's not working, if our telephones are not working, any of these things shut down even for a little bit of time, um, there's almost an instant sense of panic. We can't log on to our Facebook, we're like, oh my God, somebody right. hacked my Facebook, mm -hmm. right? And, and it's so ubiquitous that we take it for granted that it's always on, and always functioning the way it's supposed to be. And the only time we know it's not is when problems arise. Well said. And um, so cybersecurity is a huge deal. I mean, we've seen, uh, uh, not it's not been in the news in the dental world a lot, but, but there has been tons of instances over the last 24 months where dental offices have been shut down by ransomware, right. uh, by, by viruses and there has been extortions happening right. where patient data has been compromised um, and and that represents a tremendous liability yes for for dental offices and dso's obviously as the more offices you have the more liability you have mm -hmm. um, so what what how do you how do you help um, dso's with cybersecurity um, on a number of fronts one of the things that we've differentiated is that Sunset and I personally have a relationship with the FBI. So I am a member of InfraGuard, and that means that we are able to get um, information on a daily basis around cyber activity. We are working with other companies to help the FBI battle cybersecurity. And along with that, we hired people, our CIO is one of them. Uh, we've got two or three people on staff that are considered white hat hackers. Right. So we've got the ability to unravel when that practice may have been hit. And by the way, it's not a matter of if, it's when. When, absolutely. Um, and so we've got some real big IT horsepower. Aside from that, we're doing like other providers like us, we're putting in firewalls, we're putting in antivirus, we're monitoring that. Um, if there's alerts sent out, we're hopping on it, and we are a 24-7 shop. So whether it's two in the afternoon or two in the morning, we're gonna hop on it. So, so a dental practice or a dental support organization can basically hire you guys, and you, uh, do you have a, like a per location 
pricing where you're like, oh yeah, well here's per location, no matter how many computers you have, uh, here's our pricing, we'll keep everything up to date, we'll manage uh, the virus, antivirus, whatever it is that you need to do, plus look at all the threats. Exactly. And we've got a range of services we can provide as little as that practice or that business wants to outsource. Because sure. sometimes they want to do some of that on their own. Sure. That's great. Others want to, like you just said, have us do all of it. And we can mix and match. The only thing that we will do is if we're not taking care of all of, especially the, the cyber protection, um, we're making sure that we've got good agreements in place. And this is the zero fund side of me, but there's certain liability, especially HIPAA. Right. And we want to make sure that those responsibilities are clearly outlined. Um, but yeah, we're able to do a complete outsourcing and take care of all of that for our partners and our customers. I like the fact that you get involved in the legal side too, because sometimes uh, you don't even know what liability you have. That's right. And if you know it, then you can protect it through at least some language, some uh, way where at least you're a little bit insulated right. when something bad happens, right? Yes. And, and and those agreements are almost impossible to read because none of us can understand that English. <laughs> sure you uh, can. That English is just something else. I don't yep. know, it's from some other land. <laughs> uh, but it's important. It's important for, um, as, as the industry keeps growing uh, and, and, and as, as, as the world keeps becoming more complex, uh, we cannot wait until something bad happens because the costs, uh, the costs of doing nothing are, are so far greater uh, than the cost of implementing something. That's so right. And, and so I'm of the belief in, obviously in our business, we have to be very mindful about all the privacy laws and everything else. And obviously all dentists have to. That's because right. Because of, you know, PHI and everything else. But, but it, it, is, it is a very small investment to make uh, in your business to have a lot of peace of mind. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Not in just terms of threats, but in terms of productivity. Exactly. The productivity lost, nobody measures that. No. Nope. Uh, from something being down, nobody measures the actual cost. And because you don't measure it, doesn't mean it does not exist. Mm -hmm. And that's that's the conundrum we all are in. It's just because we don't see a, a tree fall in the forest doesn't mean it's not falling. It's still falling. That's right. But you just don't see it. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's, it's a fantastic, I mean, it's, it's an essential thing for everybody to, to look at. Uh, do you guys have kind of a audit that you guys do kind of a threat assessment and assessment of security yes. controls and all that stuff yep. that you provide as you go through. What's that process look like? So what we do up front is we do a assessment. Um, we're able to scan the environment. We do a walk around. So we take a lot of pictures and we provide a report back to that um, business on where the status of their equipment and their firewall and their antivirus and all the different um, security pieces, all the different components that will help them to also be productive, we give them a written report. It's anywhere from three to five pages. Um, we'll do a review with them. And then as a part of HIPAA compliance, we also do that on an annual basis. So we make sure they're getting, because the, the first step in cybersecurity and HIPAA compliance is you want to identify, you need to know what's in your environment so you can protect it. Correct. That's the simple first step that a lot of people miss. So we run this assessment tool and then we review it every year and make sure that we're helping them to build um, an IT budget, an IT plan. Right. Um, so they're not going to be surprised and all of a sudden I got to reach into my pocket and spend, you know, $50,000 that I didn't expect to spend. Absolutely. Well, um, what's the best way uh, to connect with your company? Oh, well, um, www.sunsetsecure.com. Please hop out there and shoot us a note. Um, there's also, that's our website. You can call us. We would be glad to follow up with you, give you an assessment, give you better information. Just look under the hood and tell you what's going on. And from there, we can build a solution that makes sense for you. Absolutely. And it's all customized. There's no one size fits there all. There is no one size fits all. It, it almost has to be, right? It you, has you to be. Can't. Everybody's different. Yep. Um, this has been a great interview. Thank you so much. I think it's something that uh, everybody should look at uh, sooner than later. Uh, because again, you don't want to wait until, uh, until something breaks down. 
Thank you so much. Thank you very much for the time. Appreciate Thanks. it.